Here at MMA Trending, we would like to pay our respects to Abdulmanat Nurmagomedov, who sadly passed away on the 3rd of July, 2020. The father and coach to one of the greatest fighters in MMA history has been an inspiration to so many individuals in his native Dagestan. Today, we would like to share 10 important moments from his life, which led to him becoming the pioneer of mixed martial arts in his homeland. So much is known about his son, Habib, that it seems appropriate to track the journey of the man who would make it all possible. Here are 10 things you may not have known about the life and journey of Abdul Manat Nurmagomedov. Abdul Manat got his first taste of combat sports at the young age of eight years old. He was introduced to wrestling at a local class, which was common for youngsters in that area. It was always deemed an important part of culture in Dagestan that you should be able to defend yourself. The origins of Habib's papaha, discussed in our previous video, helps explain that cultural mentality. Wrestling formed his early understanding of combat sports, which he would later develop with different disciplines. In 1981, at the age of 19 years old, Abdul Manat joined the army. During his time of service, he became involved in lots of different sports and was quoted as saying, it was a school of discipline for me. Among other arts, he would learn judo and sambo, which helped to develop some of the multifaceted skills he would later need to navigate the world of MMA. However, before he would forge a reputation as one of the best coaches in the game, he would first pick up many accolades of his own. Having left the army, Nurmagomedov Sr. would go on to study at the Institute of Poltava in Ukraine. While studying, he began training under the respected Pitre Ivanovich Butry in the art of judo. His competency was such that he became a member of the Ukrainian National Judo Squad. He was at the university until 1987 when he graduated with a degree in accounting, analysis, and auditing. During Abdulmanat's competitive career, he managed to accure an impressive array of titles across multiple disciplines. He was the Ukrainian national champion in both judo and combat sambo. However, wrestling was still his earliest introduction to combat sports, and he would also claim titles in this too. Upon returning to Dagestan, he won the national championships in freestyle wrestling. It is a particularly competitive region of the world for wrestling, which speaks to how accomplished Abdulmanat really was. Nurmagomedov Sr. began his coaching life in 1987 by holding youth classes. It was a decade before war broke out in the region, but political instability was rife, and it was thought inevitable that a conflict would eventually break out. Aware of this, Abdul Minat took personal responsibility for educating the youth so they could navigate the tumultuous path that lay ahead. He is quoted as saying, I believe every man must be ready for war, even in peaceful times. It is always a topic of discussion in the Caucasus. That philosophy would later be proven to be prophetic. Alongside his career training youths, Abdul Minat also helped train his brother, Nurmagomed Nurmagomedov. That partnership would culminate in Nurmagomed winning a gold medal at the World Samba Championships in 1992. Abdul Minat was the head trainer of Eagles MMA Russia and the Sambo Federation in Dagestan. He was recognized as a master of sports of the USSR in freestyle wrestling while also holding the honored title of an honored coach of Russia. Having moved back to Dagestan, Abdul Minat set up his own gym. He renovated the bottom floor of his apartment into a suitable space and called this new gym the Manapov School. From here, fighters would come and train in large numbers, and this constant flow of combat athletes is what first enticed his second son, Habib, towards combat sports. The level of discipline that he has instilled in fighters from the Manapov School is, in itself, inspiring. Abdul Minat was a thoroughly insightful individual and his training methods were strict, disciplined, and effective. The fighters coming out of his gym in the Tsumadinsky district cut no corners in their development. The methods of training were diverse, including a whole range of exercises aimed at developing techniques of impact, endurance, and strategic thinking. At the age of eight years old, he began training Habib with the same level of intensity as all the other fighters. Being the son of the head coach afforded Habib no special treatment, which has served the young champion well. Alongside Habib, Abdul Minat is responsible for helping forge many successful careers in MMA. Several of his protégés have competed at the highest level possible, the UFC. Originally, Nurmagomedov Sr. did not want his son to join the newly formed sport. It was outside his sphere of excellence, and many of the nuances of the sport were not familiar to him. Later in life, he admitted that MMA had been the correct choice after all. Islam Makhachev is another prized pupil who is on a path to the very top thanks to the inspired teachings of the late and great Abdul Minat Nurmagomedov. Whatever legacy is now forged by fighters from this region, each journey will owe a piece of their success to his legend.
Abdul Minad has achieved huge success with his second son Habib. Lesser known is the journey he has also taken with his eldest son too. Abu Bakr, Habib's older brother, is also an MMA fighter, although the transition to elite level has not come so smoothly. After beginning with eight victories, Abu Bakr lost his ninth to fellow prospect Magomed Mustafev. In true Abdul Minad fashion, he stated, To tell you the truth, I am not satisfied with his growth and work, never short of a clear perspective. Abdul Minad plotted a path for his son. Having won some fights in Russia, Abu Bakr was signed by World Series of Fighting. Not wanting to stifle his son's opportunity, despite feeling it came too early, Nurmagomedov Sr. was quoted as saying, Next step for Abu Bakr is the Combat Samba World Championships and 1,650 hours of training under my supervision. If he manages a four-fight win streak this year, he can step up to the elite level of pro MMA competition. With that level of thought and effort being put into the task, it is easy to see how Abdul Manat Nurmagomedov became so influential in the world of combat sports. Here at MMA Trending, we would like to give our condolences to the Nurmagomedov family while paying respect to a fantastic career that led the way for so many individuals. The entire MMA community has lost a great mind from our sport. However, his legacy will continue for as long as fighters continue to emerge from his region of the world. From now on, every Dagestani fighter to compete in combat sports will, in some part, owe Abdul Manad for lighting the way. Rest in peace, Abdul Manad Magomedovich Nurmagomedov, 1962 to 2020.